education at Bangtabab. On this program, we bring you issues surrounding education, where we welcome teachers, students, and... Okay. All right, thank you very much. Today with us, we have uh, the CEO of Keta Muso Cosmetic, you know, uh, a beautifying, you know, salon. So we would bring her in to discuss on about her business and even before that we would thank the educational Bantaba for creating this forum for us where we collect or you know ask individuals about their you know issues and they tell us more about themselves so before we get going or moving to the next step we would like you know the CEO that is Jaria to MH Jai to tell us about this you know, uh, K Tamuso cosmetic, you know, you know, affairs. Okay, how are you? Fine. Um, K Tamuso salon is a beauty salon which started um, 2021. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a salon that deals with beautifying, helping youths, mm -hmm. and uh, most of uh, the most important thing is empowering them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and working um, hand to hand with the beauty sector. Mm -hmm. That is all about Keta Muso. Okay, so that's a great thing. We will also want you to tell us about the passion for hair dressing. That's the beauty, you know, salon. What 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 triggers you? What makes you believe that this is a good initiative and this is something that you can do to get something out of it? We would want to know that. Okay, in the generation where we are, example like ladies, okay, we have programs like let's if you if you want to start a business, mm -hmm. look in the environment where you are. Okay, what what do those people need? Mm -hmm. What service do they need, or what do they struggle to get? Mm -hmm. There, you start to have business ideas. Mm -hmm. From there, you can see where to grab and start from. Mm -hmm. Okay, my society, every day we have programs. Mm -hmm. Ladies, we cannot go without beautifying ourselves. Mm -hmm. So what we do is, we must have a place we are to beautify ourselves, and that is a salon. Mm -hmm. There you have a business, right? Mm -hmm. So if you open a salon, we have people, you can give the service of what people need. Then yeah. you are good to go. And here, everyone needs beauty. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even people go to funeral, mm -hmm. they still go for makeup. Mm -hmm. You have a program. They you go for makeup. makeup. You need your hair done. You have to go to work. You have to go to school. Mm -hmm. And all that you need. So most the of these people that come for this service, you want, to, you want to make me believe that are women, right? Yeah. So do you have some men who would also you know, want to come for that? We welcome men. Because of uh, job is a job. Yes. There's nothing like this is for a female or this is for a male yeah. as far as you're getting something out of it mm -hmm. a work is a work there is no work that is specific for a lady mm -hmm. or for men but that is becoming an issue uh, like in the gambia or let's say in the globe in general we have what we call stereotype okay. where are women's uh you know put in one side they are expected to do a particular kind of work and men are also, you know, put in another section where people believe that this is the kind of work that they should do. So you are here breaking that, you know, uh, barrier, telling us that it is, you know, for both of them, you know. Do you think people will be convinced about this? This gender stuff, this, um, I think um, that is the history and, or that is what I want people to stop thinking or that mentality that people have mm -hmm. like okay hairdressing is for ladies or makeup stuff is for ladies mm -hmm. i as a man i will not do it because if i do it, society will start judging me mm -hmm. sit down and reach yourself again ask yourself a question anything you do in life people must judge you yeah whether you do it the wrong way or you do it the right way that's right so definitely mm -hmm. what you go for is what what brings something to you what yeah. do you think is your own betterment mm -hmm. so we are not going here for what uh, the society will judge us. Mm -hmm. We are going for what is good for Gambia, what is good for the youth, and what they 
people need mm -hmm. or our surrounding what we need the service we need is what we are offering does not matter whether a lady is offering the service or a, or man is offering the service so mm -hmm. that is our fit i don't believe that 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 we totally should stop yeah that that should totally stop in gambia yeah. because we are seeing men that are really doing great in the makeups mm -hmm. in this beauty sector mm -hmm. and their success is very easy than us mm -hmm. because we are wow a man is doing it so we we'll, as a lady i would like wow a man is doing it so i will go for the man because i want to see his job mm -hmm. i want to do what he is doing because i'm curious of what he's doing yeah. it's very good for a man to start working in the business sector or in the beauty sector yeah that's great so i wanted to ask you another question relating to hairdressing wanting to know whether it was one of the things that you dream to do and you work towards it was it one of the things that you plan you know as you were in your education you already have that passion in your dream that i am going to do this as my career was it one of the things that you plan to do sure hairdressing has been something that i wanted and loved it to be my profession since when i was a kid Mm -hmm. I started doing people here since when I was around 12, 13 years. Okay. So being being with it, loving the job and everything, mm -hmm. I just fell in love with the with, with the job and put everything to make sure that I get to where I want to. Yeah, you you put your total effort and sure. energy and then dedication you know, and everything to make sure it works for you yes. now what can you say to motivate some people out there within the country especially those who will want to join you in this lucrative business which i realize that you're getting a lot of money because most of the time women are involved so if women are involved in some things there's a likely there's a chance that you know you'll be able to get revenue at least to settle your daily iran so i want to know what can you uh, tell others to motivate them to come to these you know cosmetic designs that you were really doing that's your beautification salon okay what i what i have to tell the youth is from your teenage age you should decide this is what i want to be okay mm -hmm. and um, work on it Mm -hmm. You see, every successful man or a lady mm -hmm. ask the history about, mm -hmm. ask, ask her or him the history mm -hmm. about his success or mm -hmm. what did the person went through before he get to where he got to, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. So the, nothing comes easy, mm -hmm. nothing comes easy mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. In any decision you take, mm -hmm. whether you took the left side or the right side mm -hmm. the almost challenges you more space mm -hmm. and be ready for it but you know you cannot say that okay i want to be a professional hairdresser i want to be a professional makeup artist mm -hmm. and just wake up one day and be it that is not possible so yeah. be strong and be ready to do or be ready to face challenges yeah that's very right be ready to face challenges because mm -hmm. it's step by step mm -hmm. step by step mm -hmm. and from one step to another step, from one step to another step, and you get to the top. Yeah, that, that really reminds me of what Martin Luther King said. He said, you cannot be at one position. Okay. You either crawl, or if you cannot crawl, you walk. If you cannot walk, you run. If you cannot run, you fly. Sure. So that's what exactly you're telling me, that mm -hmm. people should be motivated to do things you know, for themselves. Yeah. Now, we will also get to your graduation issue. I know you guys are about to graduate. Okay. So how prepared are you for that graduation? The graduation is something like we do annually. And yeah. every year is like um, we do the 25th of May. Okay. Every 25th of May, the graduation takes place. Okay. But where we start from? Mm -hmm. The institution, mm -hmm. we start from... Um, uh 2022 okay we started last year our mm -hmm. first batch then mm -hmm. this is the second batch we had in now so um the graduation will be on the 25th of may mm -hmm. which we invite everyone including the mm -hmm. media personnel yeah and uh students parents everyone in the society to mm -hmm. attend and witness 
That's Great. great. Yeah. That's great. That's great. So, how would you compare last year's graduation, all right, the last graduation that you had, compared to this one? Do you think this one will be more successful, you know, than the previous graduation with regards to your preparation? Yeah, we are hundred percent sure of that because of uh, everything. What what did I say from the beginning? I said everything start from a step. Mm -hmm. From that step, you go to the second step. From the so we definitely like the first graduation. If we had something lacking, or mm -hmm. we'll definitely realize. So we'll make sure that we cover that space the second graduation. Mm -hmm. So the more we go, the more achievements we have, the more perfect mm -hmm. we make our programs. And we 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 are we are proud to uh, to come uh, to celebrate the second year. So would that because mean it's going to be perfect? Would that mean you telling me uh, every graduation you've got to learn a lesson or two, and in the following graduation you're going to make sure that lesson has been covered? Sure, sure. That's really a great thing. Yeah, so yeah. you're going to uh, one more question again. That's. Do you think people will find it as a lucrative business, you know, when they are ventured into it? Like fashioning and cosmetic, you think people will find it as a lucrative venture? That is, is that going to gain them much money because people are more concerned with where can I be financially stable as long as the Gambia is concerned? So oh. what do you think about it? Okay, that? take a sample from me. Right. When I graduated from my grade 12, I studied MDI okay. to my advanced diploma, mm -hmm. um, business management. Mm -hmm. From there, I had a work from G at GMPC. Mm -hmm. I worked with them for two years. Mm -hmm. I left the office and come mm -hmm. for business. Mm -hmm. So, to me, mm -hmm. there's nothing better than your own business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's sure. There's nothing better than mm -hmm. something no matter how little you make from there mm -hmm. nothing is better than it mm -hmm. great that is what i want um youths mm -hmm. to know sure. everyone cannot sit in an office mm -hmm. everyone can sit in the office mm -hmm. so what we do is mm -hmm. let's try and go more into skills mm -hmm. let's try and go more into skills yes, skill so is the best education yeah. skill work yeah skill work so Badingol, the main folk and jang, uh, a kumata bakela, minked a jaria to MJT, a double and kita muso cosmetic and beautification salon. So being a terrestrial jang, a bediamia, a bunda dola, you know, fanal la ming, you know, bedending, you know, muso lanyada, the darling, who cut on la. You know, Jaria to a film for Lanyaji. It will care a dope work and yard dealer and be Bella Flanyard dealer. Molly Lafanang dope work and it will come minke, Katun Gambia, be Tembel to Mialong, and if on Dinkil be in the Kadum Femcon or your Femmuta, it's a minke no Purkira Baludla, so Nandi, Jaria to Ede Muna for the women for a funding kill here, Ninkwot. Teba means of a lamb woman for a funding kill or wallong. Can I see in Afuko? Mm -hmm. Gambia Mondo mm -hmm. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. yes, you can for Jamo Buka That mm -hmm. is what brings the failure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the question you ask yourself, Nico Jamo Buka Mo Mahoe, it is Jumala Mahoe. Yo. Ask yourself that question first. So, na try, na, na best try, na mm -hmm. see, at least Nimo sit and a Mo Mahoe, we feel. Do you know how, how good it feels like? Yeah, long you go more sulla tafena. Yeah, ma ko ifa ya soto. Soto. Yeah, long. It is for you to see Even though na mari man fendi le, you feel proud of yourself. Yeah, understand. So mutual is something me along ko. It a compare la no ni fena. But if you told din ngol, ka koronto min na walong. Ka mutual kar baren ko koronto ko do soto la mutual wanyo ko. Anu ni mutual wanyo man senia mi. Ah. Mta fola ita na fa domo la de, bani iba min iba iba na fa min domo la je malong abad doya la le. Yalo bani ko ni maseni aba ke, bari ana fa ni bina doya la le. Bari mecho ni mo ba karan na mecho na karan ay seni aba. Ni mecho seni ati la dorong ni se fongo bemecho ni na you feel good. Yalo, 
I can contact you. Come, you never feel better. Okay, like I can contact you. Come, okay, I'm doing something that. Ni lafta mi na mwa sabi sola di alaka. So until you told me alone kwa kasi kaka Gambia mando kwa sata, nte I say noto that Gambia ido kwa sata. And today ite mari nito. I lafta kasi farming. Okay, binte tata university asa kiko na na karango kile for na karango for ha na na njita karango la. So nte kwa okay, ninte mani position o sata do ku dulato. Ntata do kuwa kela. Why? Muna ati naibu wafola. Everything start from one step. Even na kita company ye samba kilina lato. Start it from there. Yeah. As time goes on, ilafta ka futa da imba futa la walato. So mwoma wuli soma nda juno, ilafta mina ya soto instant. Wwoma soto no. Haa, wata kela no. So mwoma wami kela na mwoma nyata kami understand. Wolo nka doman doman. Ka doman doman. Kana koronto fena. Ni koronto ta doron. Ika ketinyar la lati. Ni koronto ta ibuka na fena soto no. Wala ya kari ya ba suti ya. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me for a by resign, meaning to rule to the cool to so be mean kela drum. You mean funding Monday in Kakaola, a better Monday for laying in Surua Kaola by embodying Surua, Palambe, Siri, and Jive, and the Papa, and you, Mala, and Koma, and the Malafiko, you know, by the Gambia and Bira Dental Dental Show. So Luma was Mambo, okay, and Luma Waf, um, you see, you know, moi supeke deng demba prene dengyo janga meche neng try nyu jero sun time janga meche bi meche bi muset nyu legi lun jaya kamte okay buka ni yo janga meche yai kiske na kolong kol nela okay mana buka janga meche wai dama ko janga two months wala three months meche kula wane dina lo ko janga two months three months daflana meche bi dula musaset so neng jero sun time nyu janga meche muset nyu meche sula set erek Four months ita how dinga muna fight that battle, dinga muna fight battle. Why me just sola seto te moi wala ngadem basi kana mchang doha matili ngai de because costa mo buni yaka aglumbuga, agni kuni yaka service bumbuga ngajoko. So amna noi de me me just sola seto te dinga dem bachang, doha mati noi de lulu moi wara weird, lulu moi wara misunderstanding. Yo aksa costa mai. So nyu ye bugu lulu nyu ye bugu bugu mo nyaka ligeal nig mo kanta. So so bugu ligeal nig mo kanta nga make sure. Linga def muset la, wa nyu jeu sun time rek janga meche bi nangka nangka nen janga, because of gisu madara lo hamne gen de meche, si jama no buin tolo ni, so nyu try. Yo, mbadi ngol wala m program moti bi nga min sora le jang, nga min invite nang wala kera CEO ti min bora le nang kita muso, you know, cosmetic and beautification salon ti, min kera, you know, jaria tu emej jai ti, Yo jari ya tu abaraka baake al nalbandi maana siye ni jite Kwa dool mimfo jie nga ya maro ulta gambia nool fonsa gambia buwandi Ambe nyame mbe dula muta purka development wa kama na gambia kono Ala abaraka mbe tentula mbe jaila po wati do abaraka baake Ila jamu ala lamu yuku njima ala abaraka Ok dan abaraka ame Experience to discuss issues surrounding education. We always come in with FSRB from the hour 2 towards 3 o'clock. To discuss educational issues on the educational pantaba at the Atlantic TV. With me, Babukari Ebuso. I am Mr. Masanya. I'll be the host, the teacher, the presenter, the public speaker. Welcome to the Educational Bandabab. On this program, we bring you issues surrounding education, where we welcome teachers, students, and parents to discuss issues surrounding education. We always come in with every Saturday from the hour 2 towards 3 o'clock to discuss educational issues on the Educational Bandabab at the Atlantic TV. With me, Babukari Ebuso. I am Mr. Masanya. I'll be the host, the teacher, the presenter, the public speaker. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, okay, greetings to you. We have a beautiful day and a nice session for you. Today with us, we are having Ibrahim Dabo, the Regional Educational Cluster Monisto of Region 2. So Ibrahim today will tell us more about the SIG that everyone is really talking about, like we said is the status quo that we are having for the day and welcome to the educational program Ibrahim. tell us about yourself and you can delve more in the sig issue that we have in the country of life thank you mr gite mm -hmm. i am Ibrahim adabo mm -hmm. 
I was a cluster monitor before, but currently I am SEO, SIU unit, that's mm -hmm. school improvement unit. Mm -hmm. And the school improvement unit mm -hmm. is the unit that deals with uh, SIG. Because mm -hmm. uh, the, the school improvement plan mm -hmm. contain expenditure. These mm -hmm. expenditures are summarized mm -hmm. as the budget mm -hmm. for the school. Mm -hmm. And that budget is what, uh, I mean, the SIG, mm -hmm. the main unit, uh, the, the main office in Banjul, mm -hmm. they coordinate to be posted to GTU for schools to access this money mm -hmm. based on the allocation, mm -hmm. timely allocation. Mm -hmm. First term is paid separately, second term, then third term. Mm -hmm. But for third term, 15% mm -hmm. is paid before NAT mm -hmm. and then 15% paid after NAT. Mm -hmm. And it's paid in this form, 30, 40, 30. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this 30, 40, 30, are they in percentage? Or yeah, we they want are in percentage form. 30% of uh, the annual sum song, song, yeah. will be paid in the first term, mm -hmm. then forty percent will be paid in second term, mm -hmm. then the last thirty percent mm -hmm. will be paid in third term, but it will be paid fifteen percent mm -hmm. before not mm -hmm. fifteen percent after not. No. Yeah. Okay. From then we will also want to know about uh, because we realize that many people have misconception towards SIG and where it is used. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little or more about how SIG is used in school? Because parents and some students would have this notion that you know the SIG phone is enough to handle every you know affair in the school, which is not you know the real deal. So we want you to tell us a little about this issue. Well, actually, SIG is paid based on the budget line, mm -hmm. and the budget line is having, I mean, a form of percentage week can be used mm -hmm. on uh, an item, mm -hmm. one issue, like uh, when we say quality issues. Mm -hmm. In lower basic quality issues, 80 percent of the funds forms should be used on quality issues mm -hmm. that is sticking and learning related. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then 10% will be used on payment issues like telecommunication, mm -hmm. traveling, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe cash power. Mm -hmm. Then on environment, minor maintenance, 10% mm -hmm. will be spent on minor maintenance mm -hmm. as refurbishment of office mm -hmm. and also uh, the operation maintenance operation operational maintenance mm -hmm. but uh, SIG mm -hmm. is having a guideline mm -hmm. week uh, SIG schools follow mm -hmm. and likewise the regional officers uh, who are dealing with SIG because mm -hmm. like uh, if uh, SIG payments are made mm -hmm. schools will also bring their plan their school improvement plan Mm -hmm. And the school improvement plan will contain all the activities they want to put in place mm -hmm. within that academic year. Mm -hmm. And uh, it goes with costing. Mm -hmm. So each of these activities, when you want to implement it, mm -hmm. you will request. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can request many activities mm -hmm. at a time mm -hmm. and then you go and implement, you implement it at the school level. Mm -hmm. But SIG is also having a guideline mm -hmm. whereby week you need to do and week you need not to do. Like it is, you yeah. know, conditions are there that yeah. needs to be fulfilled. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. in the SIG mm -hmm. administration, mm -hmm. you are not advised to use it to pay teacher salaries. All teachers' salaries are paid by the government. Mm -hmm. If you are, Ministry, okay. if you are appointed by government mm -hmm. or you are 
on uh, appointed by board schools. Mm -hmm. Board schools are the one we call grand aided. Mm -hmm. These are government government subvented schools mm -hmm. whereby government will pay their salaries and the board will manage the money. Mm -hmm. Even the SIG will be paid to the school account mm -hmm. at GTU mm -hmm. and the board will manage the, the form. Mm -hmm. Okay. For government schools mm -hmm. it will be I, I, we all know that all government teachers are appointed by the, the, the government the and these are purely on the government. Mm -hmm. They are paid by the government so mm -hmm. this money should not be used to pay the salary, mm -hmm. neither to give a loan to teachers. teachers. Yeah, and even the money mm -hmm. should not be deposited in a private account, mm -hmm. but the school account, account. at GTUCC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the money should not be used to buy school bags, mm -hmm. uniforms, mm -hmm. and shoes for students. Mm -hmm. This money is not meant for that. Mm -hmm. It's meant for educational improvement. Mm -hmm. Do yeah. you do you do you uh, do you believe or experience that? Some schools use this money for other errands. Have you ever encountered such kind of situation where you find out that you know a particular school was engaged in using this money in the, let's say, in the wrong direction or wrong platform? Have you ever any experience any that? withdrawal? Okay. I mean, request is prepared uh, and uh, it will be sent to the regional office. Mm -hmm. For approval. For approval. Mm -hmm. Before reaching the approving officers, mm -hmm. it has to pass through the SIU unit, mm -hmm. which I am one of them. Mm -hmm. So we will look at the request mm -hmm. and then see whether the request is in line with the guideline. Mm -hmm. Those that are not I mean, in line with the guideline, mm -hmm. will be cancelled mm -hmm. before approved uh, before recommending for approval. Mm -hmm. So right. those ones will be cancelled, and it will be signed against by the uh, the SIG officer mm -hmm. in responsible, mm -hmm. and then later mm -hmm. will write the new figure mm -hmm. of what's supposed to be withdrawn on what items on what item is supposed to be spent on. Mm -hmm. Then. The officer will recommend for approval, mm -hmm. and the, the head teacher will take that request mm -hmm. to the either PEO or the director for approval. Mm -hmm. And uh, after this expenditure, mm -hmm. the retirement should be done. Mm -hmm. Also, we normally request invoice mm -hmm. attached to your request. Mm -hmm. Then, after receiving the money, mm -hmm. you go and spend it. You should collect the re receipt from the the buyer mm -hmm. and that that buyer is supposed to be where you collect from the the item uh, yeah, yeah you collect from the seller mm -hmm. i mean the the shopkeeper mm -hmm. should give you the receipt mm -hmm. that should tally with the amount mm -hmm. And that is on the invoice. That would be the evidence that to prove that you that, have uh, used the you money. You have used the money in the right direction. And the copy of that retirement mm -hmm. will be sent to us for checking, and then later, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we if, if it is okay, mm -hmm. then we will allow you to photocopy and mm -hmm. give it, give our copy, mm -hmm. and then you go with your original copy mm -hmm. for filing purpose. That's great. So how can you involve parents in clearing this misunderstanding? Because parents, most of the time, they are in a lost, not because they don't have clue, but then they, it is misinterpreted to them by some students and stuff. They have no, not much idea. So how do you try to remedy their situation? You know, what platform do you create to sort out such kind of issues? with parents, with regard to parents' involvement in, in, in this issue? Yeah, like uh, in the issue of uh, SIG payment, mm -hmm. parents would like them to understand that uh, payment of SIG to school mm -hmm. is one way of, uh, I mean, uh, stopping them from paying the school mm -hmm. phone mm -hmm. and also buying textbooks. Mm -hmm. Normally lower basic schools 
mm -hmm. are supplied with textbooks. Mm -hmm. Even Opu Basic, they are supplied with textbooks. Mm -hmm. And the senior secondary school, mm -hmm. they are also supplied with textbooks. Mm -hmm. Because government pay money, especially mm -hmm. for senior secondary school. Mm -hmm. Each child going to grade 10 mm -hmm. will be allocated $2,000. Mm -hmm. And this $2,000, the school admin mm -hmm. will use that to purchase textbooks, mm -hmm. which will be, be given to student mm -hmm. in grade 10, mm -hmm. which they will use for their senior coming Come. ca career, career. Okay. for upper basic government do supply schools with uh, textbooks mm -hmm. and supplementary readers mm -hmm. and these textbooks and supplementary readers mm -hmm. should stop parents from buying textbook for the students mm -hmm. so and uh, the, the supplementary readers mm -hmm. are some of the subject uh, i mean authors our own gambian authors mm -hmm. who will write textbooks mm -hmm. and these textbooks will be uh, i mean approved. will be approved by the ministry, ministry. Mm -hmm. and they will be printed mm -hmm. in many mm -hmm. and sent to school for students to use mm -hmm. but uh, for parents to buy textbooks mm -hmm. for their student mm -hmm. Uh, this SID, I mean, come mm -hmm. to, I mean, clear that. Clear that. that the parents should understand that. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we do understand that some students mm -hmm. will, I mean, will appreciate a textbook mm -hmm. written by their teacher mm -hmm. and will want to buy that uh, in That's order to supplement their reading. Mm -hmm. uh, that deal should be between the teacher mm -hmm. and the parent. Mm -hmm. The students should not be involved. Yes. Yeah, because students supposed not to be levied mm -hmm. to give money to teacher in request for textbook. Yes. That's uh, or give money to teacher in request for something. Something. Yeah. We regard it as le levy. Mm -hmm. But uh, parents can discuss with teachers mm -hmm. on what they want them to do for their students mm -hmm. let's say study classes mm -hmm. and uh, if, if they want to buy supplementary readers mm -hmm. written by uh, teachers mm -hmm. i mean they can mm -hmm. but uh, preferably government would want ministry would want them to buy mm -hmm. the ones that are vetted mm -hmm. by the ministry officials and give approval mm -hmm. for them to be used in school mm -hmm. but sometimes uh, the students mm -hmm. will inject themselves in certain things mm -hmm. we are not uh, i mean mm -hmm. uh, i mean the something that behavior yeah, like they will yeah. be an intermediate between the parent and the teachers yeah causing more misunderstanding, misunderstanding. it should not yeah come. the parents should understand that uh, mm -hmm. supplementary readers are available to available in schools mm -hmm. and textbooks are supplied to school for student and teachers use mm -hmm. yeah okay. and also for lower basic the same scenario mm -hmm. government supplies textbooks mm -hmm. they also uh, give supplementary readers mm -hmm. in subject areas mm -hmm. which is approved by the ministry mm -hmm. and uh, allowed to be sent to, sent schools, to schools for use for use but any other engagement outside that Mm -hmm. within this circle mm -hmm. know that uh, is the student and teachers mm -hmm. who are making their own private thing but not uh, an, uh, something that is uh, 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 that is approved by the ministry mm -hmm. ministry supply textbooks, textbooks. yeah very, very well parents should understand that uh, mm -hmm. writing materials like exercise book mm -hmm. pencils mm -hmm. pen mm -hmm. those ones are the responsibility of the parents mm -hmm. uniforms they should buy uniform mm -hmm. for the students mm -hmm. they should buy pair of shoes mm -hmm. and uh, other stationaries different from the core textbooks mm -hmm. and the supplementary readers approved by the ministry mm -hmm. well some parents did not understand it this way mm -hmm. they believe mm -hmm. that uh, in their pta meetings mm -hmm. the agreements they made with the school authorities mm -hmm. i mean that agreement should be fulfilled by the parents mm -hmm. not the students mm -hmm. neither uh, 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 neither money mm -hmm. be given to students to be to paid to, to the teachers. teachers. Which is Parents fine. should collect the money mm -hmm. and then uh, hand it over to the school admin mm -hmm. for necessary disbursement, mm -hmm. especially if it is study classes. Mm -hmm. 
but students are supposed not to carry that money mm -hmm. and hand it over, over to, a to a particular teacher because is not we regarded it as levy, levy. Okay. and uh, that supposed to be stopped because okay. it's one of the conditions mm -hmm. that can uh, can, that can make a stop to this grant. Grant, yeah. yeah if it is, I mean, In misuse. Misuse. Okay. But I think I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if aka ki karam masakunda ka aki karam bungol to ba karam bungol fana ka plano lel dada nyin da panso nyi ba da panse la nyame o plano nyin abol ko no karam bungol nya to ta kolu a wol lel beje men ya lon ko nyante ke la pour ka je ko karam diro nyin karam o ay yiru wa karam bungol nyin to ka je ko dindo la kata ko nyin asilafa ni aje man say nyin ke ye pour wulula la ka wulula la da hande ke bonde karam bon jol nyin ko no anen ka test bu kol men ni nyante sana karam bon to dindo le man sala ka wol ke say man sala fanna la ni wodro keta wulula la nyante men ke la wol le mo to fanna nyante pensulo lo wol san no la le nyante penol san na le exercise bu kolo pour la dindo la safer la ngol andum fanna karam bon to ba ko ni uniform wol ito le wulula le li nyante wol be ta pense la so nyimu fente meya lon ko wulula le jama ma fa Hamu kamera ko SIG le kabeke. Yoni tada karambu mto watu doli saje ulula kafolu ili tichali kacha puru kastodi di dinne hola kaje kodi nola kato kwe lafa. Wakambe wengine atama ta ulula ni tichali tema. Wolbe ulula ni tichali tema. Joro ni yuko na ulula kafolu nyanta mole tumbo na mimi nyanta joro tala kaya moyo ulula lebulu. Ni ya kafu nyome parete sina di karambu la mara la la puru mene kastodi. Tamani si kodo ni mfuta ndi manu nyame, bara dindo mo manya na bulo tili na ticha la kaka kodo ni ndi ala, because intolo ngaje ukomu levi neti, so wala nti na njia kacha afanko na manje kodo dindo ni ticha lohani, ulula ni ticha le nyanta kuo kacha la, ni kambenta mene tolfa ule nyanta kuo ni tamani, so abo nyama SIG modulo kama utako, a manya na jola, a manya na tala puru kati cha la. Joinge, mansala kwa ubeke, andumfa na manya na dila ticha la puru kumenga kajulo dia la, julo menga sina joinge, ndo esaji manya na kelo, ndo esaji kodo ying amanya na kela amu kileng kungkile na la bank bank account o nyento bank kumen ala mabor dula to bank nyento, bara nyanta kela fanya tume alongo. Mansa kunda ya maroche karambungo lbe ya account yele GTU CCU Okoro nyin kata wa account nyin neto Andu ning isula ta okoro nyin fanala Ika safero kele ko isula ta okoro nyin nanka mnela Iba kele nyin neti, iba kele nyin neti Ni ya safe, ya sama na regional office SIU unit Na afutata SIU unit Wolfana kaji bele menu nyanta kela ane menu manya na kela menu manya na kela ni bije ika wole bondi jele menu nyanta kela yeye wole tuje deni sina na safari tuje kai tande nyato nkola kwa nying saeng itole ya 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 la malandi lako nying saeng isi approvalo dino alale so saeng Nyato nko na furata ulma ulfanasi approvalo dealer Ni ya approvalo dealer Watu ule muwebe gula office oto yata kata kodo nyinta GTU Ni ya kodo ta GTU Ibita ya adapansi karambu nko meye safero ke menu Ni ya usafero li nyinke fora akurata Badi we safero ke la watu mena yaka invoice on na ki ila safero la So ibita li adapansi ke saibe risito dealer la risito mea lonko Ya bondi wadu latu ya sandiro ke damento But recently, invoice on Yanta Kela Kilimoleti, and Yanta Kela Kome Bitiki Kilimole Yanti Dila.
kila mm. anda be nyata kila kilomiti mm. On this program, we bring you issues surrounding education, where we welcome teachers, students, and parents to discuss issues surrounding education. Which always come away every Saturday from the hour two towards three o'clock to discuss educational issues on the educational Pantaba at the Atlantic TV. With me, Babu Kari Ebuso. I am Mr. Masanyang. I'll be the host, the teacher, the presenter, the public speaker.